so I remember lying on the tarmac. I think when the ambulance guy came on, I knew that it was touch and go. Basically, I lost my leg in a, in a motorcycle accident. As an amputee, without the best you can have, you do a lot of thinking about everywhere you're going to. What's it going to be like? Do you have to go up and down the stairs? And even standing, having a chat with somebody, it's quite taxing. Blatchford was nominated for the Royal Academy of Engineering's Mac Roberts Award for developing the world's most intelligent prosthetic limb. Now this is an incredible advance in engineering prosthetics because it means that the limb actually adapts to the wearer and for the first time the ankle and the knee actually communicate with one another. Lynx is the first truly integrated lower limb system where we sense information from the ankle and we feed it into the knee and we sense information from the knee feeding to the ankle. We've got a central microprocessor controller within the Lynx mechanism and that the controller talks to both the knee and to the ankle simultaneously and it's that interact that allows both joints to actually interact with each other and actually to synchronise with each other on the various different modes that are actually in operation at any given time. What it does for the user is to try and even out the load so there's less imbalance within the body to try to save things like osteoporosis, joint wear, all these things that go on. There were always modular systems but never someone has thought about the whole limb and how to integrate that so we had to define the whole messaging, what are the important messages that need to be between the different joints, how should this message structure look like, what communication do you exchange, so it was a completely new field and we did quite a lot to try with amputees as well to find out what exactly is needed. Here was the opportunity to literally get every champion from different projects come together. We had people who deal with industrial design, we had people who were prosthetists, we had software development engineers through the user interfaces and this whole team had to work together and that was probably one of the most exciting things I have done in my 30 odd years of career in this industry. What's happened in creating links is that above knee amputees will benefit from technology which hasn't existed previously. You know, we've almost raised the bar to a different level. And before, the products were very much thought of as individual elements in the design. We can suddenly explore lots of new opportunities. This is an incredible piece of multidisciplinary innovative engineering at its best. Pretty much every aspect of the prosthesis has had to be re-engineered in order to make the Lynx the success that it actually is. 45,000 people in England need lower limb prostheses, whether it's from road traffic accidents or due to military service or because they have diabetes. And this incredible innovation in the Lynx, which allows the wearer to adapt to the terrain, is going to be incredibly important for them going forward. Just the other day, somebody said to me, oh, have you been, have you been squatting today? And I said, no, no, I said, oh, my leg. He said, what's wrong with it? I said, there's no leg. And he, he didn't believe me. I had to like pull it up and show him that, look, there's no leg there. And I see him every day at the gym. 